using the Pick Pack app for stop motion movies on Android. So when you open the Pick Pack app, you're going to get an introduction screen like this. And what you need to do is click the little arrow in the bottom right hand corner and that will take you to the screen for creating a pick pack project. To make a stop motion movie most likely you're going to want to use the time lapse camera option and so you go ahead and click on that and you'll see that it drops you straight into a camera mode and we don't want to do time lapse, so we want to turn off auto by clicking on it, and that'll turn it into manual mode. And what that'll allow you to do is take the pictures when you're ready. So you can see that I have my Spider Man action figure here ready to go, and if I'm ready to take a picture, I just click on the camera button, move my Spider-Man uh, figure a little bit, take another picture, move him a little bit more, take a picture, move him some more, take a picture, and when I'm finally uh, finished taking all of the pictures that I want, I click the stop button, and that will say that I'm finished taking all of my pictures. On the right hand side it is nice to see that you have a zoom option so you can move this up and down to zoom in and out. So take your pictures, press the stop button, and that'll take you to the preview screen where it's pretty easy to just select all of your pictures and if there's any that you don't like then you can go through all of them and then turn off those pictures. When you have all the pictures you want to use, you might want to play around with the speed and watch the video on your preview. So if you click on the speed button, you'll get a slider that goes back and forth. You can tell it how many pictures you want to have per second. Play with it, preview the video when you have it the way you like it. Then what you're going to do is click the arrow on the upper right hand corner and that's going to bring up the video settings. You can type a title, you can put your name, and then size you can choose what kind of quality you want for your video. So these higher qualities uh, you need to pay for with the paid app otherwise you can use these lower quality settings. When you've set everything the way you want it then click create video or create GIF. In our case, for a stop motion movie, you most likely want to create a video. That'll take you to an audio screen. You can put your audio in with these options, or you can do that later in a separate app. When you've done the recording that you want to do, click the arrow on the top. That will take you to the sharing screen or the export screen. So we've got our final movie. It's right here. You can play it, you can see how good it is, and then you have your export options. You can export to YouTube, Facebook, uh, probably the easiest and best is you can save directly to your gallery on your Android device.